guys and once again welcome to my channel Ace Freedom Ace Authentic. Today I uh, have this special treat for you guys. I'm going to show you how you can create a text with fire texture. So guys uh, this is gonna be burning hot. I hope that you're ready for uh, this uh, simple Kira tutorial. Okay so yeah Kira has just loaded up. That was quick. That was fast. Okay so here create on click on new file yeah so we'll just go with the default um width and height i don't really bother much on that so just click on, click on create okay so we are in uh, our workshop was just like open uh go to your left click on the t icon so once you have click on the t icon um you need to click on your you need to click and drag the mouse in your uh, white space area so I'm just gonna do this uh, okay so this text box uh, appears up so what we're gonna do is like we're going to delete this uh, default text so I'll just type in file here in abacus letters so Follow, follow through what I'm doing here, don't want to make a mistake because this is kind of like complicated. It took me time to get used to this. So highlight the text. You can press shift and then the arrow buttons or you can just yeah, highlight the text. After you have highlighted the text, what you can do is like you go on to front size. So here I'm just going to put 100 so that it could be clear or 120. After you have text, after you have like inputted in the the text size press enter so this is uh, the text will kind of like be huge kind of be gigantic uh enough that we you will be able there to see so after you've done this click save so once you have clicked save it kind of like changes up or oh, it's kind of too big so i'm just gonna like go on to 100. once you click save it's when the changes uh it's when you see the changes happening uh on your workspace so let's now select a front. Uh, there are a lot of fonts here. Uh, I'll go with this. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so we have clicked our front. We have selected our color. What's next? Uh, let's close now this um, this window. Okay, so go on to go on this two side. Um, the left side that is select uh, this kind of cross thing it's called a move tool so once you have selected that you'll be able to move your layer your vector layer that is so you have moved your vector layer what's the next move so for us to be able to edit this thing right here we need to go to, to our layers so it will obviously be on your right hand side so go here on your layers uh click convert um yeah go on like here then click convert to paint so once we click convert to paint it's when we're given this option that we can now edit this it's no longer it's no longer a vector which we cannot edit so once you have done this um go on to the left side uh, on the two bars on the two bars that is so select similar color selection tool i've done so and i will actually click on the um the black paint that i've like selected our text was in paint i was in black sorry um so after this what you're gonna do is like go on the color color tool color bar that is advanced color selector whatever so after this uh, let's select lead press f on your keyboard or go to the left side of the toolbar and select fill to fill to or you can just select, um, press f so let me just select the fill to then what i'm gonna do is like i'm going to paint everything laid so yeah 
we have painted our text lead since this is the only area that we have selected it's we're now good to go because yeah we are now we can now go to filters so select on filters then go like um start gmic ot select this option um it's the second um second option from the bottom that is so after this this filter window this awesome filter window is gonna pop up oh sorry so once it pops up you're going to have this um a different different um uh, you're going to have these different options about filters there this layers and tiles are stick so these are usually um, um these are usually helpful but on this tutorial they're not gonna be they're not that helpful so what what we're going to do is that we're going to uh go down 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 to to patterns so we're going to patterns after going to patterns we're going to scroll down and select the lava section so guys we've selected the lava section so you're seeing that um our text uh is it's kind of like this frame in our text so this is kind of what we opted for so i'm going to select apply so this is like the view view what you're seeing is gonna be like the after you've selected apply you can also like select apply again like you know um like to increase the intensity of the file to increase the text of the fire text text yeah sorry okay so they are press okay so you see guys we have created we have created this fire text but then the background they um the background isn't that cool enough so let's change the background a bit don't forget that th don't forget that you only selected the text um we selected the text at first so we need to select all or unselect the text so select this two it's called a rectangular selector it's called a rectangular selection two so you select this and press right click you can either select or or deselect so here i'm going to select all meaning that i'll be able to edit everything that's here but i don't want to disrupt our i don't want to disrupt our perfect um fire texture text so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go on the light side of my screen here on the layer side and disable the visibility of the text so that it shouldn't be disrupted uh so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to press f on my keyboard or you can go here and select the few paint so again go on the color bar let's select this color and then drop it down here once you have done this you can like review your text so this is our fire text you can also like uh increase the intensity a bit let's set this so they should be darker so guys this is a fire text so um you can add a lot more like coloring you can add um light light on the background so that it could like look more rigid or something like that but this is like a simple fire um fire texture text so guys uh thanks a lot for for you know like being there and watching all this all the way through uh, on, on my next creator series video i'm going to show you how you can create creative um logos and um the like but this is just um like how showing you how you can make um some fire patterns in a text so guys um thank thanks a lot for being on my channel guys so i'm just gonna save this you know don't forget to save things Saving thing is, is always um, awesome. To, it's always uh, it saves up time and it's also helpful because you don't want to lose your wake. That is, yeah. So, fire text, fire art. So I'm gonna save this as P N. No, no, no. Let me choose J P E G. Fire text. 
Thanks a lot guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family. You never know they may also like it. And also guys, don't forget to comment down what you like about this video. Thank you guys. Set my heart afire.